What's up guys? Welcome back to more Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithlessness. Let's give it a full introduction here. We are starting today out in the Northern Territory of Soma. And what we're gonna do at this point right now is go through all the areas that we've been through um, and use our newfound lock picking ability to open these locked ass chests, which are gonna have some really good stuff, like all a bunch of signets, a bunch of moves. Should be some really powerful items. So there you go, the first one was right there in the Northern Territory of Soma. Also we'll be doing some private actions along the way, um, some side quests since there's going to be a lot of traveling here to be done. And I'm going to be making a cut when we get to our next destination. Anne, have you noticed any problems with the way I fight? No, not in particular. That's too bad. I was hoping to fix any objective flaws you might have noticed. Then there's one thing. You always seem to think negatively. <sighs> the thing is, that's your life philosophy, so I don't see any way you could conquer it. I'll do my best. And our second chest of the day is right here in the Western Dakov Tunnel. You can see on my map where I'm at. It's right here off to the left. We might have to deal with these metal golems here real quick. Should make really quick work of them, man. Oh yeah. Totally annihilation right there. Okay, Hardly let's see what we got. I can do it. I'm fine. Cinematurgical Book of Quietude. And here's our next chest here. We are in the Tracurin Dunes. Look at my little map here. We're in the southwest area. Oh yes. Those are that's what um Emerson and Anne need. Those are nice. The next one is actually in Eastern Shrekur itself. We're right here. It's kind of in the northern area. Let's see what we have here. Resurrection Elixir. That is, I think that's a mass res. Hey. Oh, uh, what is it? Now that I get a good look at you, you're not half bad. Is that supposed to be a joke? If it was, it isn't funny. <laughs> nice response. Next one here, Resilient Plains, right out here, wide out in the open. One right here in the castle. Oh no, there's two in the castle. Wow, okay. Um, by castle, I mean Castle Bariff. It is in Central Resilia, the capital. Wasn't expecting two. I totally forgot this one was up here. Where it's hiding back here. This is where we were like doing those pre-battle plans with Victor. Love Potion, number 256. The animals on this planet are tough. They're a pain in my neck. It's not like you to complain, Captain. Hey, you want to hear something funny? I just saw a small insect go inside your shirt. <laughs> just kidding. I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> Next time you try something like that, I'm using electric fists on you. Expect no mercy. Ah, duly noted. The next one here at the coast of Minos. I swear to God, I've walked past this one probably a thousand times. So, have I ever told you about the pets I had back in the day? No, you haven't. What kind of pets were they? They were lizards. I was raising them for research purposes and grew attached to them. Whoa! Lizards, Th that's unusual. For my next pet, I think I'll get a bigger animal. A bigger animal? So, do you mean like an alligator? <laughs> no, that'd be smaller. Tell me if you're ever exhausted or if things get too tough, okay? I'm fine. I think she's using a different phrase from before. I'm sure she used to always say, I'm okay. Here's the next chest, Passage on the Cliffs, right here. One of the very first locations we've been to. So what made you interested in Signets? Tell me what your interests are. Huh? I guess, uh, good alcohol and beautiful women. And why do you like them? 
There's no logical reason. I'm just drawn to them. Exactly. Now do you get it? Gotcha. That makes sense. There's also one in the training hall where we fought like those two like imposter different kind of combat sequence guys. <laughs> the first time they were really a joke. Second time, still still kind of a pushover, but a little bit more serious. Bam, what's this what do we have? Oh yeah. And the next chest for today is in the Dakov footpath. Kind of the western Dakov footpath, actually, between the Brazilian Plains and Stall here. Moonlight Signets, that's a good one. Do you think his womanizing is a type of disease? Or a facade? You may be onto something there. What, really? First of all, his advances don't seem particularly serious. Secondly, he doesn't often succeed. Ah, I see what you mean. He's under constant pressure from all sides, so perhaps this is his way of relieving stress. Ah, yes, it's his way of relieving stress. Victor and Fidel sure are close buddies, aren't they? That'd be because they share a common bond of having trained together. Be careful, or he might just take Fidel away from you. I can't imagine that ever happening. Oh, I can. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Please, Fiore, tell me! Which type of guy would you rather be with? A nice one or a dependable one? I want a guy who's both. Huh, you've got some surprisingly high standards. Really? I mean, wouldn't that be the bare minimum you'd want in a guy? You think so? I've never met a guy who's both of those things. Not even once. You should take a closer look around you. There are more like that than you think. Maybe I should get my eyes checked. I wasn't talking about how well you can see. This is Kenny. I have an update, sir. The Chrono ship has just entered Fakrete 4's orbital trajectory. What? I hope we make it in time. Do you think you'll be alright, Captain? I'll contact you later. What the hell's going on, dude? What is that sound? Holy shit, is there like... Sounds like a spaceship is incoming. What the fuck, dude? General Alma. As part of Kronos' militant faction, he tops the galaxy's most wanted list. How kind for someone of his stature to greet us. So, he's behind all of us. Fidel! Relia? But how can that be? Sis! What? Relia? Did she say sis? Are you too imbecilic to realize the instrument you have is not really a... What? The one in your possession is Feria, and it is the foundation upon which Kronos is to build its new world order. It also differs from the unit you hold so much extraneous affection for. Thus, I doubt you will mind returning it. Why is a famous general fighting in the galactic equivalent of some backwoods Hicks family feud? Interesting question. I could ask the same of you, Captain Kenny. Oh, just how do you expect to save little Miss Starlight from all these heavily armored troops? If all the reports I have received on you are correct, well, I believe your name is Fidel. So, Fidel, if you possess even a modicum of sympathy for that thing, stand right there and don't move. Retrieve Faria for me. I know that light. Activate the neutralization device. So, the boy is the catalyst after all. Fascinating. 
With some modifications, we should be able to draw even more power from her. Bring her here! We'll be taking Feria with us. Thank you for holding on to her, Fidel. Due to your act of kindness, we were able to collect precisely the data we needed. <laughs> Take us away. Really? Damn it! The Institute. They seem to have warped out. Now she's not even in the same sector as us. Isn't there something we can do to save Relia? Anything at all? We'd have to get our ship back before we could do anything else. And how long will it take for you to get it back? It's scheduled to arrive in a day at the earliest, but we'll likely arrive in two. Then all we can do is wait. Wait. This is a problem between the Federation and Kronos. There's no need for you Faecredians to get involved. It's too late for that. Don't take it the wrong way. She was thinking of your well-being when she said that. If you come with us, then... If we go with you? Then... you may never be able to return to this planet again. Even if we do save Relia. We might never see our home again? <sighs> If you wish to join us, be prepared for that eventuality. Those of you who remain undeterred can assemble in Santa Roll. Understood. Okay. You've already made up your mind, haven't you, Fidley? Yeah. I'll always follow your lead wherever you take us. Maybe it'd be a good idea to return to Stahl first. I'll let you choose the way. Kenny here. Captain, our vessel will be arriving in Fake Creed 4 Sector in approximately 17 hours from now. Contact me again once you enter orbit. Do you think Fidel and the others will come? What would you do in my shoes? Would you be so eager to conduct research in an unknown land? If it meant possibly throwing everything away and never coming home? <sighs> I bet you would. That's why you're not here now. If a true researcher somehow dropped a valuable piece of evidence into a bottomless pit, he'd jump right in after it without thinking a whit about his own safety. <laughs> right? What a poor excuse. I wonder if he believes it. As a central Rasulian officer, I have a responsibility to care for my subordinates and protect the country from harm. It would be wrong to forget that. On the other hand, what of Fidel? I can't in good conscience abandon my mentor's own son. Please, Master. I need your guidance. What would you do in my shoes? Fiddly, you do... ...recall when you guys... ...took me in, right? Yeah. So many were killed. Like Papa and Mama and more. Not to forget your own mom. Because that wicked illness... ...beset our little town. It was disastrous. I know I was certainly at wit's end. But then you said... ...these words. I'll take care of you like kin. Dry those tears, right? Stop that blushing here. <laughs> 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 
My dad was always in other lands. Meaning my world lacked structure. That taking care of you is why... I'm still here today. You think so? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're no longer... little kids now. No, we're not. Well then... Can we, uh... Sorta, kinda... I don't wanna... Stay your sister any longer. Well then... I'll stop being a big brother to you. Then can I... Call... You Fidel now? Works for me. All right, Fidel. Here on out, I won't allow any people to hurt you. I should... I should say that, not you. Let's go. Our pals will want us back soon. <laughs> 